We're live? Okay, awesome. Sweet. This, this one's saying Hi, three, guys. two, one. We're live. Uh, thank, thank you for the notice. We're, 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 hey, we're Vic, live. we're live. We're live. The internet is on. We're live, and I'm just now staring at my module book across the living room, so that's great. <laughs> anyway. Hi guys. We'll have a, we'll have about a minute and forty seconds. I'll, I'll, yeah, uh, a minute and forty intro. seconds. You know, run and grab it. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, it's been a while. Welcome to uh, Divine and Conquer's uh, Rise of Tiamat. No, this no, is not Horde of the Dragon Queen. Don't say that, Brain. Nope. <laughs> we are in the sequel to Horde of the Dragon Queen, which is a fifth edition module run by the Wizards of the Coast Tyranny of Dragons campaign. So this is my own little take on that, as we have a wonderful cast of characters that will uh, navigate through this uh, apocalyptic uh, scenario. Uh, first bit of news is uh, our wonderful, beautiful waifu, Jeremiah. He will not be in tonight. Uh, we will miss him very much. Yeah, I'm very sad. As he is the bestest boy. Bestest wife. Best could ever ask. Yes. So with that, uh, do we have any announcements? Uh, any that's beyond our usuals? Uh, I think it's too soon. Something is live, but it's too soon to comment on it. Maybe by the end of the month. Okay. We All right. Thing. So by the end of the month, we'll have a, a big announcement to yeah. uh, announce to everyone. So look <laughs> for that. Vague. Champ, do you have any announcements? Champ, what is it? Oh, Champ has, has opinions on Druidcon. Oh, oh my god. Wow, he, he has a lot of opinions on Druidcon right now. Um, but I guess we can start talking about our bros. Um, I'll, I'll start talking about the bros that are at the Al uh, I'm not Alistar, uh, the Town of the Claw. Which, uh, let me get us some dice, which make these really, really cool dice. Look at this, look at this beautiful die right there. And they make like dice trays and dice of vaults. Um, they even, like, Almost knocked over my honor. Look at these. This council of seven, and I have the dual hex dice vaults, which are over here. Um, and DM screens, and cutting boards, and dice trays, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, and uh, if you go to the, his, their link is uh, below. If you type in uh, uh, Divine Conquer on checkout, you get 10% off, which is really, really cool. And from the looks of it, Champ still has things to say about. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if Chad's still talking, I'll talk about the Alistair project. He he he's, he is done with his his opinions about how people should operate themselves outside of our door. So uh, okay. Anyway, uh, Lynn, we're doing things. Oh no, Lynn's been silenced forever. Okay. I think it's a it's a very common thing right now, Vic, because my neighbor's dog is barking too. Oh, that's right. Okay. So it's it's still okay, it's still right. Gotcha. They got the memo Champ got. Don't worry about it. Right, so so Champ barked across the way that the neighbor's dog picked up and then Whiskey picked it up. Okay. That's pretty much okay. what I'm assuming. Yeah, fair. All right. So the Alistair is a webcomic that uh, Lynn and I are collaborating on. This is our passion project. Uh, it is a webcomic that's live on Webtoon right now. If you scroll down below on our Twitch, we have a link to our Patreon so that you can support us and Alistair on his adventure. Uh, you could subscribe for as little as a dollar a month. It gets you access to our community Discord where you get to hang out with cool people, share your projects, uh, prom uh, promote yourself, and then we promote you on, on, our, on our streams and such uh, so that we can have, like, you know, a fun little uplifting other bros and what and what have you all right are you trying to build a community of positivity and connection get imagine that of, get out yeah, of here get, get out of here, here. Imagine that. I, I guess that's what we're trying to do <laughs> all while uh we uh you know have fun with each other uh they also our uh, patrons also give us uh what's the word uh they tell us what we draw on our saturday streams is what they do is we ask for them, hey guys, what do you want us to draw? And they tell us, and then we do it on Demiplanes. So that's a whole thing we're doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, other than that, uh, being a patron also means you get uh, access to the comic early whenever we release new chapters. Usually we'll post on, uh, typically it's like Fridays or what have you, and then there's like a three-day buffer before we post live on Webtoon, which is usually on Monday. Uh, our schedule's kind of like all over the place as we combat the thing that is life. And all the weird catastrophes it's throwing at us. Life has a really hard C high CR. 
Yeah, it's it's been apparently the 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 more the year progresses, the higher the CR goes. Yeah, it's isn't that weird? That's very weird. But yeah, so you also get uh, behind the scenes. You get to see snippets of the storyboard processes that Lynn and I go through, and all the dumb doodles that happen on said storyboard process. Uh, we also have a zesty tier, which is our highest tier, and that gives you access to all the art Lynn and I don't dare put on our fridge anywhere. It's all over my fridge, though. It's all over Jesus' fridge. He's quality control. <laughs> which, Lynn, we gotta we gotta do the we gotta do the thing for this month. So <laughs> quality control. Yeah, we gotta we gotta figure out what we're doing. <laughs> we gotta, gotta figure out what we're doing for this month. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I got. Uh, yeah, I think um, next week we're going to be doing our reroll podcast, and we're going to put Dicky in the initiative chair. Um, I'm not you're giving him a platform. <laughs> here's a place where you can speak freely. <clears throat> all right, here's all the things I gotta say. Oh no, got sixty <laughs> years worth of uh, worth of things to say. You just hear. All right, what page do you want me to start in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. I can't think of any other announcements. Um, yeah, no, uh, that, I can't think of anything else. To be no, honest. Right. Uh, mm, I guess if there's no more announcements, let's uh, go ahead and do our uh, intros. Yeah, 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 yeah. As Dicer dropped into a jar. Why did you drop the dice in the jar? I'm sorry, because okay. I don't know. This has become a very, She's very particular about her dice, I as know. I said all lined up on her computer around her computer funny and this is the character that is nowhere near uh she's like the exact opposite she's the exact opposite of cole whereas like cole has all his shit he tries to have all his shit in a row and then (laughs) patience just yeah who cares yeah if that shit love it (laughs) anyway so hi i am vic i will be your dm for this evening and overall uh chaos controller and next to me... Hello everybody, I am Tabitha. I will be playing Patience, the Tiefling Sorcerer. All right. And then we have the biggest of good boys. Hi everybody, I am playing Torsius. I am the Minotaur Fighter. I am... I am very concerned about what we saw. No. Oh. <laughs> very concerned. Yeah. Uh, and we have our resident fish people today. Hi, uh, I'm Stephanie. I'm going to be playing Ophelia Nolani Tormenta, also known as Fifi, your <laughs> local Valcor Tempest Cleric of Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Josh. I'll be playing uh, Yuli, the babysitter. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so enthusiastic about it. He's so excited about that race. <laughs> two, two more copper a day. Yay! <laughs> Which, by the way, yeah. Ophelia, you need to reimburse him for two copper that he just spent. Oh, shit. Okay, that's going to be so much money. Hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. She, like, wait, gets wait, a wait. little tiny piggy bag. Like, mm, Let me take my, my, uh, all my coin bag and then, hold on. You know what? I'm just going to go buy me a cabin and live in the woods. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still find you. <laughs> and we have I'm the go goodest with. of boys. Hey, that's me. Uh, I'm Lynn. I'm playing Sir Alistair Vander Belmont, the human paladin of devotion. Oh, Aww. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's your god, bro? Pratt! Pratt's my god. He's the, the, the holiest bro. The bromega. He's the bromega. The bromega. The, al- the bralpha. <laughs> the bralpha and the bromega. That's about right. Yep. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and roll that intro.
All right, so. All right. It's been a while, guys. So let's see <laughs> what all happened. We uh, fought a red dragon within uh, Waterdeep, and that's how you all banded together. You were given the quest of setting out to capture the white worm speaker, no, uh, a dwarf known as Verum the White, who was last seen residing within the Serpent Hills. And that is where you guys are currently with our little spud marker. So with that, you had a bit of a, a bit of a skirmish with uh, a Yanti and a couple of lizard folk as you defeated them for the most part, sending the Yanti running for the hills after you captured him and forced him to listen to your speeches about doing good and reading from the Bible of Frat. That happened. As the, the two remaining lizard folk uh, led you through the uh, Serpent Hills and took you to where they are currently operating with the Cult of the Dragon. Uh, a tomb of an ancient divination wizard known as Dedarius. You have... I saw Sonya's eyes just go, hello. <laughs> <laughs> As you made your way through, you've discovered that this uh, tomb, so to say, is full and just heavy with enchantment of all kinds as you had battled a glass chimera as you solved a, a, a puzzle that was once broken to uh, discover how to get the water into the divination well in order to see what was a collection of visions that were troubling. Some of them uh, some of them kind of taking you into the past as you saw, as Tarsius and Cordelia kind of saw the moment when they were rescued by their Uncle Weston Cal. Uh, a moment of a child wandering through the woods as the trees moved to enclose it until they were trapped. Uh, a moment where there was a tiefling man writing furiously at a desk until he turned to look at you. And then a vision of Yuli's father writing a letter before crumbling it and throwing it away. And then what else? I think, and then ultimately the vision of what could be your future as Tiamat brings herself forward from a, from the Well of Dragons as the ritual is complete and your body's laying broken, defeated, as, as, as essentially Tiamat would begin her reign. And with that, you guys uh, made your way into the actual Tomb of Dedarius as you spoke with the voice of the wizard. Him giving you insights on your questions as he his knowledge is vast. And he showed you a pathway deeper into the tomb where Verum the White had been taken. And so, that's essentially where we left off. Yeah. <clears throat> guys. To your tomb. To the tomb. Okay. Yeah. I'll get my other music up. Okay. Spoopy. Spoopy, yes. Spoopy music. It's a spoopy music. Spoopy. I can't hear it, but I hope it's spoopy. It is spoopy. Okay, very good. Very good. Very good. Just, just go on to Twitch and listen to it that way. So we have an infinite feedback and then... Infinite, uh, infinite loop, infinite bleed. loop. Yeah, we all believe our mirrors. Loop into a loop into a loop. Mm -hmm. Actually... What was that? I can't even hear on Twitch. That's weird. So I think it's me for sure. Oh, like your like your audio is set up correctly on your mic. It should be. Discord what, will automatically always put you on yeah. the road setting. Uh, 
Please yeah, this plug is it true. in. Alright, one moment. So if your this, that's my problem. desktop is uh Okay, now I hear everything. God. Huzzah. That's weird. <sighs> oh Discord. You love to mess with me. You, Discord, you stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> Discord, you fucking bitch. Okay. So, as you all gather before the secret door that had been revealed to you by Dedarius, uh, various questions, for the most part, answered. Where? What do we do? You see Patience start going. I doubt Tarsius is going to let her go. I am also controlling... Uh... There was a large, uh, golden double door before you. Kind of the same in design as it always has been through the various temple. You see the wizard Dedarius as he's looking down at this, um, at the divination pool, as you just see swirls and, like, spirals of, like, patternings as it kind of divines different visions for him. As, uh, Tarsus is going to grab patience... Cordelia is going to sigh and inspect the door for any traps okay. or anything. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, traps. <laughs> <laughs> roll, okay. me, roll me investigation. Okay. <sighs> that was a 17 and then went to a 3. So the total uh, is a 6. Eesh. It's a very pretty door. All right, well, since there's nothing wrong with it, she's going to... It's, uh, it's, it looks like every other door that you've come across. Of course. Uh, if, he, if he needs to take out her thief souls to uh, to open it, she will. If not, then she's going to try to opening it. And right, well, the, door, the door is open. Can I have control it's... over uh, my sis? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Get you that. And uh, as she opens the door... Tarsus is going to just put his hand in front of her, move her behind so like uh, both Patience and uh, Cordelia are in the same line, and then he's going to step forward, like fully opening the door. Right, as Tarsus kind of like moves both girls behind him just to use himself as a shield, and you open the door, it opens inward into it into a kind of like a corridor, and okay. this is just like a. Kind of a long, winding corridor that just kind of like curves out to the right. All right. Um, is there light, or do I still need the torch? Uh, there for this corridor, there is no light. Okay. Well then, Tarsus... oh, no, um, roll, roll me perception. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, not another three. This is better. It's not a three. I rolled the four, so nine, I believe, total. Uh, All right, yep, nine. I think for the most part, I mean, it's so nine. Yeah, nine. There's not much you can see as it's very. It's just a dark corridor, but down at the end, right as you see the bend, you can see just like kind of like the faint flicker of of torchlight. Hmm. Just... I'm gonna turn around. There's a torchlight at the end of the tunnel. So either that's where we're supposed to go, or someone is there. I think we should come up with a plan of what to do next. So I'm saying this Cordelia is already going through. Okay. Because <laughs> I know how Jeremiah role plays her. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She's just like, whatever. Yeah, just patient be like, so we just keep going. <laughs> This yeah, just but, kind of off but, to the side, like, so we go into the light? We go, we go, but with the plan. And by this time, Cordelia's probably like 10 feet in front. She's gonna stealth forward if she can. All right, roll me a, roll me a stealth. Uh, Ophelia and Yuli, what are we doing? I guess we're just gonna go through the door. Okay. She's <laughs> plus nine, so that is a dirty 20. Dirty 20. All right. Wait, one second, I need to take care of a little it's thing. Just holding here. her boomerang and holding it up and casting light on it. <laughs> okay. As Patience uh, holds up her boomerang and just like the very tip, you see it just shines with light. How bright is this light? Like 20 feet. 20 feet. So if anybody was looking directly at Patience's boomerang. <laughs> uh, I was probably talking to her. 
Is Cordelia okay. already moving her way in? Mm-hmm. As Cordelia, as uh, with then her, it was a dark tunnel. So. With her, with her twenty, you see as she kind of immediately, kind of quietly steps into the shadows, and you're just like, "How she's so quiet for somebody in heels? How does she do that?" <laughs> yes, yes. True. As you turn around to uh, discuss your plan, Patience holds up her boomerang, and you see just this flash of light, just. Just... <laughs> God, um, that's what I didn't want to happen because now they right, knew. Right, like a twenty foot radius, yeah. Twenty foot radius, so you got twenty feet of light just no. in your eyes. No. Ah! I'm gonna step back. Yeah, ah, still. Sorry, I just know you can't see in the dark. And now he so... can't see. <laughs> I'm sorry. This way, will say. I can't see. Um. Yeah, She's well, just gonna awkwardly hold out her boomerang like, here, you can use it as a torch. I'm gonna grab it, put it on my belt. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want them to know we were coming, but I guess now they know. I mean, if you want, I can always cancel the spell. It's Well, we're, we're talking, and it's echoing. Is it echoing? It's... I mean, if you're talking at a normal volume, there is a bit of an echo that does okay. carry. And okay. if you yelled from being blinded, I mean, then if, yes, if that Tarkis did carry as well. If saying, like, hey, you need to douse it, because they might see it, patients will do that. It's okay. Well, the element of surprise is gone. <sighs> Go forward. <laughs> Bring out my axe. This is, as he clops forward on his hooves, and you just hear it kind of echo slightly on the stone. How tall is the ceiling? So it's it's about I would say probably ten feet high. So okay, all right. So I, I don't really have to. Pay you, you know, too if, much you re- if you reach up, you can touch the arch of it. Just do that. Let a little bit of like dust hit anyone who's walking behind me. A little bit of, a little bit of like rocks kind of dislodge and just <laughs> across the floor. I'm gonna giggle internally and then just keep walking. <laughs> all right, Alistair, what do we do? He is going to stay at Jayon's side okay. and follow him in. All right. All right. So for the most part, if everybody is continuing on down the tunnel, let me get your other map. Um, just out of curiosity, this yes. is just for my own uh, pleasure. Mm-hmm. Uh, is the path like in in the tunnel or the stones like this too? For the most part, like since that's what I used to make the map, yes. <laughs> She's hopping from. All right, I'm hopping from okay. the color, yeah. different colors, playing the floor is lava on the yeah. other ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you get about halfway, you hear kind of this. You hear barking in draconic and kind of like this rasping, hissing voices. And what are they saying? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Roll me perception, patience. Okie dokie. Patient, patience. She knows not the meaning of the word. That's actually... even if even though it's in her name. I was gonna say that's probably true. Eighteen. Eighteen. As <laughs> you you hear the you hear the draconic, and this draconic sounds more like when you speak draconic, or your mother speaks draconic. It's very. Very, very clipped and curt and just kind of there's a bit of like graveliness to it but when this one it sounds like the words are being elongated and kind of like exhaled almost That's suspicious. as you hear uh, in Draconic we have intruders flank the sides we cut them off here patient's gonna whisper that back to Tarsius it's like they know we're here Oh. They're trying to flank us. What does that mean? They're going to go behind us and kill us. Oh, this. They said flank from the side. That's what oh. they said. Well, flanking usually means from behind. Wait. I'm going to pull out our manual. Oh, no. It could be adjacent, too. Okay. Let's put the manual back. <laughs> I had to get a manual for uh, houses and humans. You know, as humans, it's Ferris is just like, does that mean that they get advantage if they... Yeah, they if they come to attack, they'll okay. get advantage on us. <laughs> they'll roll two Rocky Talkies instead of one. Well... Oh my gosh. 
Okay. <laughs> God, Tarsius, so. you dumb fuck. Oh, love Tarsius. Yeah, Tarsius. All right, so what is the marching order, I should say? Um, I, I guess technically Cordelia, as far as she could, have gone, and then Tarsius behind and the rest, as uh, they please. Okay. Yeah. Patience will be behind Tarsius. Okay. Uh, Ophelia, Yuli, where will you be? Well, I'll go behind uh, Patience. Okay. And then Yuli will be behind me. All right. And Alistair, what about you? Uh, Alistair will try to be last, just because he's bigger. But I don't know if Jayon or Irian would let him, so... <laughs> uh, I'll, I, uh, I'll say Irian is kind of, like, towards the middle. Um, kind of, he already has uh, an arrow kind of knocked in his bow as he's kind of walking forward. And you just see okay. that there's just, like, this look of, like, intense concentration on his face, as for once... He's quiet. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Jayon, uh, for the most part, he uh, takes up the rear with you, Alistair, as he's just kind of walking by your side, just not saying anything, but his uh, sword unsheathed. Okay. All right. So, as you come to... Let me. DM, I know you couldn't hear before, but uh, there's no music at the moment. I don't know if you're aware of that. I am not aware of that. Thank okay. you. Here's a little bit. Okay. As you come around the bend, and the first thing you see is this room as you are now greeted by torchlight as there are sconces on either side uh three of them on a back wall as you see uh as you see the lizard folk kind of armed and ready with their clubs you see these th these big three uh individuals that have for the most part humanoid torsos with like a smattering of scales that go down from the neck and the arms and then just this large serpent-like head as th all three of them are holding scimitars oh uh, can you talk to them because i don't know how to speak them, their language tell them we mean no harm and uh well, cool. The the pointed horn ones let us go through because we're friends. Um, patience will kind of like go around. And well, from where she's at. Okay. She's gonna cast mirror image on herself. Okay. And she's gonna send her little mirror image out. Okay. Let's get you a Smart. mirror image. Because she's tiny, so she's actually going to stay behind. Uh, okay, let me put uh, Tarsius, but just in purple. Yeah, Back go here. out like right here, just kind of like, hey, we don't mean any harm, just in draconic. Okay. What you doing here? As you see, uh, the one, uh, the one in the middle. Uh, kind of, he unsheaths his uh, scimitar and then points it at you and barks for them to attack. Oh. Uh, that means attack. <laughs> so, roll me initiative. Oh, boy. Oh, well, so much for that. <laughs> yeah, they're, not, they're not friendly. It's like, well. Get this thing up. Yeah, that's not bad. It's your initiative, sis. All right, cool. What's my initiative? Cool. <sighs> All right. Mirror image doesn't do anything else, I don't think, really. Okay. It, it 
do two. Boys, oh, let me roll for my other boys. Let's put this over here. Let's put this over here. Uh, someone mentioned Tomb of Darius. Yes, it is to Tomb of Darius. Yes. Yes, this someone is. Uh, correct, this is the Tomb of Darius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get my. Can I attack one? It's forgot Eerian's stats. Please Eerian. come here. Arian, come on, man. I need you. Arian. Arian, buddy. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, my goodness. Your part just finished the dungeon. Cool. Let's see if we survived the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to put... Arian, why are you not on initiative? Wait, this is not allowed. How do I put mine in? What? Uh, the demon has to select and put you in there first. Oh, yeah, let me get you in there. Sorry. Okay. No. No, I realize not everybody. Boop, boop. You can like boop. selectively drag everybody and then just control you. Yeah. Instead of being the vigilant, unless that's easier for you. Well, no, I realized I had everybody's old uh, initiative in there, so. Oh yeah. Who's going first? Oh fuck! They're going before me. Alright, whatever. <laughs> the big boy got 18. And then his sister got a 10. Oh, we cannot put the sister's initiative. Okay. Oh, because you don't have control of her. Oh, yeah. So I didn't copy you from the other map. So yeah, that might be way. That might be useful. Why? <laughs> What? Oh, I'm trying to put mine in. You uh, hit enter first, and then like you can like, call it over the yep. number. Yeah. There. Oh gosh. If it's oh then okay. Oh dude, bro, that's a lot. Of... Oh man, y'all go. You got high initiatives. I thought I did good with it. with my 18, but no, y'all did. Alistair's <laughs> over here with like I got a three. I got a three. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, so let's go. 12. Okay. All right. So, did anyone get higher than 21? No. Let me. Oh. I got to roll for Ferris. Damn, Arian. Yeah, he's a ranger, you know? <laughs> Oh, I love that the paladins are 11, 12, and 13. That's cute. Aww. That's cute. Okay, Cordelia got a 10. Cordelia got a 10. Okay, I'll let her go before Ferris, because Ferris is just NPC. Okay. Cordelia. Yuli. Yeah. Alright, I'll let... Uh, so, Patience and Yuli both got 20s, so... However you guys want to decide that. Normally I would say go on ahead, but I would like to go first. Sure, I if yeah. Go ahead. Sure. Oh wait, I didn't get a twenty. I got an eighteen. My bad. Yes. All right. So you're gonna go. Okay. So you'll go before that. All right. So right as let me get actual battle music on. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice, bro. You just started with Horde of Dragon Queen. We uh, we did uh. Uh, sorry, uh, Tiamat, we, we did our record and then moved into this campaign. Yep. So weird. All right, so first one on initiative is fucking Arian, of course. Wait. Uh, Arian's amazing, thanks. Who's, who's he fucking? <laughs> he thinks he is, but you know. Uh, <laughs> as you see, uh, at, right as the one, uh, Yanti points his scimitar forward, yells to attack. Irian slides out from uh, away from the group, kind of taking his arrows as he's knocking 
one while holding the other one uh, at the ready with his fingers. As... What? Sorry, he rolled in that one. Uh... Ooh. Why am I not trying? Wrong? Trying to be a badass, and he just like, no. Nope. Uh, for, complete misfire on the first one. Uh... I see patients going. <laughs> Leave him alone. No, she's like, you did good. You tried. <laughs> Leave, leave him alone. <laughs> I'm gonna roll for him on D and D Beyond from now on. As the first one, uh... <laughs> so your girlfriend doesn't shame you. So yeah, right. <laughs> Basically, so she doesn't shame me. As you see, he kind of takes the first one and just kind of like misfires completely. As he kind of, he, he kind of like went a little too fast at first, and the bowstring just kind of like snaps against his arm. He's like, fucking shit. All right. He just like takes the takes the second one and he fires and he's gonna aim right for right for the middle guy. As that one kind of buries into uh, kind of like the juncture between his shoulder and his neck. As let me roll that damage. Oh, this is why I don't use D Beyond. Okay, he maxed. Good job. He's got to compensate for something. He's got to compensate. You know, I bet he named his bow Lena. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I swear to god, if you say that, that's canon now. Lena's love. <sighs> Lena's love. Uh, I have to put that in the game now. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Do you have anything else? No. That's. Uh, oh, yeah, he does have things. Well, no, that, that should have come before, but oh well. Alright, so that's just what he's gonna do for right now. Okay, Yuli, you're up. Um. What? Oh, patience, sorry, it's, you're... Sorry. There you go. Sorry. Because you're under him on the initiative board, so I had to move it. Patience, what would you like to do? Um, just because I need to use this to determine something, I'm going to move it back where I had it, but okay, fireball. Okay. You're just you're just throwing your okay. Just gonna throw a fireball. With your mirror image. I was just using that to get. Okay, the, uh... I got you. I understand now. Sorry. Okay, so I have to roll. DC sixteen. DC sixteen. All right, so so four of them. So sorry, snake guy saves. Uh. That's a fail for Lizard Man 1. It's a fail for Lizard Man 2. And you said DC 16? And a save for Lizard Man 3. So yeah. two saves and two Four fails. sixes so far. Whew. This is gonna be some damage. Okay. 37 is the, the hole. 37 is the hole. Okay. 37 is total. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Just making sure you fired him correctly. But. Oh, man. But... That's, that's, that's a lot. It's a, a lot, lot of hits. damage. Right, let, me get, let me calculate the half real quick. Uh... I got it. Okay. okay let me round up. Oh, that guy is so hurt. This guy. And then her mirror image nope, back that's incorrect. there. Okay. And back. Yeah. As patience just as as you see patience just kind of like 
just charge up with like this fiery energy. She's just kind of like holding it like in her hands, like this, like just this ball of like erratic, like fire as she just like lobs it out. And you see just this explosion of heat and, and fire as two of the lizard folk just scream out as their skin just melts from their body into their bone and they're just nothing but charred blackened husks as they collapse onto the ground one of them kind of limps out from the smoke kind of holding onto his entire right side that's just completely burned and cauterized and you see the um you see uh you see the yanti who is covered in uh, some burns, but seems to be the one that has the least amount of damage on him. And she's basically gonna have like the mirror image, like with the boomerang point over at the Yanti, just kind of in Draconic, just being like, you know, where's the dwarf? She's trying to be intimidating. Where's the dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, she's trying to be intimidating. Love it. That's fair. All right. Next up. Now it's Yuli. Okay, Yuli said that he wanted to go all the way. I think this was 30. And uh, after those two just obliterated, he's just going to do a defense stance. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, uh, I'm just going to wait here. <laughs> oh, less work for me. All right. He just like takes his blade. Like, less work for me. Stance. All right. So you can hold the yeah. back. Yeah, he's gonna be a defense. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. It is these boys' turn. <clears throat> okay. As you see, this one kind of step forward out of like the smoke and mm. and and ash Making as he takes the scimitar he points it forward uh at cordelia better not as you see his eyes just kind of glow with this kind of entrancing green magic as i need her to make me a wisdom save no I can't be the one <laughs> that makes her get hurt. <laughs> Wiz save? Cordelia, Wiz save. you should have studied more. Your wisdom's low. Oh, that's, no. That's a 10. Ugh. All right. Hmm. Okay, so that does not, does not save. Actually, let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. Uh, let me see if she has any like maneuvers or anything that can assist with this. Okay. Uh... No, that's okay. Is she, is she in, in, in charm or any of that? No, no, she has shield of mastery. So uh, no, it's not not towards mind control things that I can read at least. Uh, so, as he kisses to her in a as. Oh, you're cutting out, my dude. So what? You're cutting out. Here. You're cutting out. I'm sorry. I try not to. Okay. All right. As he points uh, his scimitar at her, his eye is glowing green. As you see her start to kind of reflect with that same magic as he hisses to her in abyssal. Sister, you should be on our side. She has advantage against. Wait, is this a spell or magic? Does she have advantage? Uh, this yeah. is a char This is this is uh, this is a suggestion. So it's, okay, cool. She has advantage against spells or magical right. effects. Roll All me right. that advantage, my dude. That's a natural twenty. Fuck. That's All a right. Natural twenty. That's twenty-two. As you see, her eyes just kind of glow with that magic, and immediately she just shakes it off. Oh god, I'm so scared. <laughs> me too. <laughs> We got another really, really good for his character. <laughs> All right, and that's that's what he's gonna do. As next one. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, next one. You have like two more. Next, yeah, I've got two more. And I, I'm just one. really excited because like you fucking touch, you try to touch my sister with your mind. 
as he's gonna move right there as you see him kind of take his scimitar and also kind of ready it as he's gonna hold his action okay yes gather get closer together <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> now i'm gonna be good and this one is gonna run off oh uh. Uh, my turn is next. I won't use my reaction. Yep. Uh, oh. Oh. Mm. Is it? Uh, is it officially my turn? Yeah, it's officially your turn. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be like, he's running away. Get him. And then, like, I want to focus on him. Like, that's Tarsius's mentality. He can yeah. get there. But this guy targeted my sister. And therefore he has to die. So therefore he's the target. Okay. Uh, and oh, that's thirty-five feet. So I have to do. Okay. I'm gonna look at him and just no, it was a mistake. And then uh, kick my foot a little bit, and uh, and I like an inch or two away from like uh, knocking down patients, and just. And just charge in. So I'm All going right. to move. So that gets me here. Yeah, because it's 35. And then I'm going to use my dash to continue moving. And immediately right. after my dash, I can do my goring rush. So okay. I'm going to attack him. Okay. That is going to be 27, 26 to hit. Yep, that hits. And he is going to take a D, a D6, not D8. D6. So that is uh, seven points of blundering damage uh, because right. we ruled that my horns are curved upwards. Um, and as soon as I an attack happens, I can use my hammering horn to try to push him five feet back. Um, so he needs to make a strength of 16. Okay. Because Minotaur is complicated, yo. Mentors are big boys. Yep. And what was the DC? Uh, 16. He rolled a 10. Alright, he gets pushed five feet back. Alright. There he go. And I'm just gonna just moo at him. <laughs> and have my axe out. And uh... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste an accent surge. That's yeah, that's it. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, all right. He's not worth it. <laughs> I'm, I'm concerned about what's ahead. Right. He's running and away. Tarsius just charges forward. You hear him like as he lowers his head, connect into this Yanti's uh, chest. You kind of Tarsius, you kind of feel like his ribs crack slightly as he is pushed back, and you see him just kind of bow forward and just just hiss very angrily. All right, next, Fifi, you're up. Um. Okay, she's gonna move. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. She's gonna run and dash, All and right. move and dash. Uh, one more space. She tried to go to where the other one escaped. Okay. But she's gonna see that uh, that Yotai right next to us. So, like, don't even think about it. Okay. <laughs> I see. Don't. And her running is like half skip. So. All right. So she's just like skipping along. <laughs> and Tatar, she's like, I, I got it. I, I'll get there. She's like, I. So Ophelia, you know, I got it. I got it. She just kind of skips along, as the one uh, lizard folk next to you. She's kind of like. Kind of staggering to keep upright. Oh, yeah. he was hurt. oh, he's so hurt. Like you, you look at him, and he looks like he could just be knocked over at a moment's notice. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be me. I'm just gonna, like glaring at the one next to me. Like, don't even try. Don't. As this one is gonna, it is is the one in front of you just kind of like clutches at its side and it looks back to the auntie and just hobbles over to you to raise its club and attack oh. All right. bro what did i say what did i say bro what did i just say we just talked about this 
I feel like they're going to miss anyway. Uh, so, 14 and... Yes. <laughs> Uh, a 14 and then a 12. Miss. As he like looks a like a slippery fish, just... I am. Yep. <laughs> Can't hit me. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> All right. And next one is coming for you, Tarsius. Bring it. As this one is full of life still. Okay. Oh no, okay. Give it to me, Daddy. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you're not supposed to read those books. Oh. What? It says it, it, says it in here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> as you see, as the lizard folk just kind of like runs up at you, like brandishing his club, as he hits into you, Tarsius, but it looks like his hits aren't strong enough to, like, actually cause damage as you feel the club just kind of, like, bounce off your shoulder and your side. And he just looks kind of, like, at you, realizing, oh, wait, you're about at my height, if not maybe a little taller. Yeah. You don't have to do with this. I will use my red shit. So he's like, you can just walk away. You don't have to. I, I will kill you, and I don't want to. I don't know if you understand. Looks like he did not understand a word of what yeah. you said. All right, sucks. All right, Alistair, it is your turn. Uh, he's gonna be super stoked and be like, <laughs> "Oh boy!" And <laughs> oh yay! He, he's gonna he's gonna shoulder his 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 sword and just hobble over here and just like watch excitedly. He can't really do much else. Okay. All right, and it is Jayon's turn. So, Jayon, what what are you gonna do? All right, he is going to put himself about right there, and just kind of looking around at the scene. He is going to. Oh, I forgot to redo that. Do, 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 do. He is going to pick. What was the one? What was the one? There it is. All right, Tarsius. He is going to cast Sanctuary on you. As he kind of, kind of runs forward, kind of gauging the scene. As uh, Alistair, you see him just kind of like hold his hands out, and you see like the tips of his fingers glow gold. As he kind of like makes a glyph in the air, and that glyph reflects uh, around Tarsius as he casts his sanctuary. Alistair's just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He's just, let's make quick work of this. And he's going to just kind of hold his uh, his own sword up at the ready. Ready to defend, you know, everyone around him. All right. And Cordelia. Okay. What? So Cordelia, I'm going to get her sheet out correctly, is going to move. Oh, nope, it's the wrong one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <sighs> yeah, 25, 30, and then she's going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 over here. Can she see where that lizard folk is running to? Roll me a perception. I think we have Savage's plus three. One second. Where's your perception? No, plus five. Uh, 11 total. 11. As you 
as as she runs over to quickly see where this uh where this individual is running you can see the sconces <coughs> on either side are just burning so brightly to the point that the hallway in front is just cascaded in darkness and he can't be seen okay well she used her dash action does she have a bonus um come on make big please thank you Oh, she can use her, uh, because she, she's a rogue. So she would have used her dash uh, for a cutting action. Uh, okay. okay, so she will attack them. Um, All right. She's going to shoot this ombre over here. Um, yeah, make sure it moves as much as you can. All right, so she's going to give a shot at the bloodied right. um, Yon. Yon <coughs> that Snake is Snekasnek. Uh, so this is just going to be a sort of simple uh, longbow, uh, okay. and that is a total of 19. 19, I believe that hits. Okay, and that they is going... not very armored. Yeah, that's going to be eight points of piercing damage. Okie doke. I'm on the wrong layer. Hello. Okie dokie. What is her maneuver? <clears throat> Wait a minute. She's a level five fighter, right? <clears throat> she uh, if the if her if her sheet's correct. <laughs> yeah, no, she's have two attacks. Yeah. Okay, I I'm so used to the old school slash that all right. I saw was a plus six, so I'm like, oh, but she has another attack, so she's gonna attack again. Okay, okay. go for it. My bad. Uh this is probably a miss, that's a ten. That'll miss, yes. Yeah, okay. So, all right, cool. Nothing changed in the continuity of the <laughs> of the story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, top of the round. Let's go with this. As Cordelia, as you positioned yourself to see where this figure was going, you see four more emerge from the darkness and into the room. Uh, as you got friends. Okay. All right. Cool. Let me move this over here so people can see the friends. Okay. And that puts us at Irian. She's just going, oh shit. <laughs> as, let's see. As he is going to maneuver himself. Oh, I forgot Ferris. Hello. Ferris? No, Ferris, Ferris is Ferris. Ferris, no. She's just gonna be cool who's there. Uh, she Her her move is looking to Jayon and Alistair and saying, what what should I do? <laughs> oh. Precious baby. Precious, precious. She waits for Alistair or Jayon to tell her what to do. Uh, you're doing great! And he gives a thumbs up. <laughs> Excellent. Jayon will burn his reaction just to tell her, please, just stay back. It's good advice. Uh, okay. Let's just hang out over here by the wall. Just <laughs> kind of like holding on to uh, her bag and her and her parry dagger. And then, okay, now it's Jayon's turn as he's going to... Kind of hang Excuse me, hope you don't mind if I stand over here. I have things that I remembered I can do. As he is going to... Bonus action, Hunter's Mark, the lizard folk that's next to Tarsius. Yep, we're right there. Hit That'd be the boy. It's the uh, boy. His boy. And he's going to make his two attacks, which I'm going to roll on D&D Beyond, so I won't get shamed. <laughs> I laugh. Okay. And all right. Huzzah! Both hit. Okay. Huzzah! Huzzah! Okay, so that's numbers, numbers. Okay. 
as you see, he kind of takes aim, he fires uh, one arrow as it catches into uh, in between the rib of the one that's next to you, Tarsius, and then you see as he immediately kind of whips around, aiming at the one that's next to Ophelia, and you see the uh, his he, him loose an arrow as it just like catches like right into the temple of the lizard folk and kills hey. it. Hey, good job. Okie doke. Okay, okay. Let me put numbers on that guy. And he is looking very hurt. Okay. Patience. Okay, so Patience is gonna have her mirror m image go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Gets it right here. Okay. And it's looking in the direction of all these down here. Okay. And just going... <laughs> <laughs> That's just the mirror image. Okay. That's not what I'm doing. This is need to know that the mirror first image. First of all, That's I need what to the mirror image scene. is doing. It's just a taunt. And okay. then patience. Patience. Is five, ten, no, five, 20, Thirty gets her right here. Okay. And she is going to cast chill touch on this guy right here all in right. front of Tarsius. Okay. Go ahead and roll me attack. It's a natural 20. Please roll to confirm. It's Patience woke up and confirm chose violence today. <laughs> Hell yeah, with a four. Okay. Roll me, roll me that, uh, that crit damage, please. Nice, bro. Nice. Is it higher than 11? Yes. Okay. That's Way <laughs> higher than 11. That's all I needed to know. Yeah. <laughs> As Patience is, uh... Just a mirror image. Call, just go mirror speech. image skips across, taunts... As she herself skips across, stops a good few feet from the lizard folk, as you see her kind of, like, thrust her tiny hand forward, and that tiny hand morphs into a spectral bony hand as it shoots off of her original one, kind of grasping onto its head as you see its skin face start hugger. to... Basically, like... it goes face hugger, and it just, like, you see the skin start to, like, decay and just crumble into into itself as it falls over dead next to you, Tarsius. And she's gonna also look over at Tarsius, just like, I got you! And she's hey. gonna spend two sorcerer points for a quicken spell and she's gonna cast haste on Perseus. Oh shit, alright, let me get you hasted. Oh boy. Ugh. This is gonna be good. Mm. Go ahead, I'll put this little dude there for haste. Mm. Mm. Haste gives me another action, right? Yep. Yes. And, it, I... and it raises your AC by two, I believe. Yes. And then it doubles uh, your movement. Here, double check. Yeah, read, read your spell. That's important. You gain plus two to AC, advantage on deck saves, gain an additional action on each of uh, each of your turns. Yeah. Well, fucking God. I don't say that out loud. <laughs> I'm thinking in my head. It echoes through your, your head. Oh, man, this is going to be Isn't good. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Here. And that's all she can do. Okay. Oh, all right. Yuli, you're up. What are we doing? Uh, he's just gonna move. Did you want to move right here or? Oh, yes. I'm right here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 what? Huh? I'm just hungry. Same. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, what are we doing, Yuli? What are you doing? Move across. Yuli, what are you doing? One moment. Beat him. Oh, beat him. 
Speeding. Where are they? Hello? Hello? Hello. What are we doing, Yuli? <laughs> okay. Uh, he was just gonna use his full movement to move right there and stare menacingly at the <laughs> other ones. Oh, okay. Alright, as you stare menacingly at the other ones. Patience mirror image just like, am I a joke to you? <laughs> <laughs> Yuli fully embodying what it feels like to work hourly. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. All right. If that's all, we're going to move on to our snake boys. As this one is going to... All right, he's moving in because you're a nuisance. And he is going to make... Oh, shite. <laughs> Language, patience. I said, oh, shite. Patience. <laughs> Wow, I cannot. Me that language. I cannot even patience. My ears are burning. <laughs> as, you hear, as everybody um, hears patience yell, shite. <laughs> yes. I am gonna do a reaction. What's your reaction? Shield. That's fine. Let's that raise your AC to. Twenty-one. Okay. So, they're just like, eh, eh, shield. First attack is a 21, exactly. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> and the other one, do, 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 that's only a 10. So, okay. that's not happening. That's good. That's good. All right. So, <laughs> I'll say the first one is the one that hits into the shield the first time, and he's just kind of like rears back, just kind of like tilts his head, and then he puts a little bit more force into it as he brings it down, just shatters through your shield. And wow. let's roll that damage. I am a beefy sorcerer. You are a beefy eight year old in general. <laughs> You're pretty beefy compared to most eight year olds in the Forgotten Realms. <laughs> So but that I is going to be seven points of slashing damage. But I saw that. I'm good. Oh, you did. Oh, shit. You absolutely saw <laughs> that. Yes, sir. She's even going to look at the Yanti and just in Draconic. Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> looks at Tarsius, looks at the Yanti, you fucked up. You're an ornery little shit, I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> All right. I have a message and... to send you on that one, DM. Second one is going to, the one that you kind of gored into is kind of going to look at you, look to his friend who just made a mistake, and he's going to just kind of sidestep over to Yuli to attack. It's like, well, I'm gonna get away from that. You, you <laughs> gave like, I have an opening. I'm taking it. Bro, that joke gave me the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, these guys, these guys aren't very good at their job. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm sure they would be great, but we're level seven adventurers, <laughs> and that's first a Yuli. <laughs> first attack is a seven. Nope. Okay. <laughs> 22 is the second attack. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay I guess. Fucking <laughs> okay, guys, I swear to god. I should just throw dragons in all of the dungeons because <laughs> these guys can't hit for shit. So that's a four slashing damage as he rolled a one. <sighs> <laughs> he got the bad Yuli roll. <laughs> Just transfer that shit over, man. <laughs> you always just stare back at him and put that evil grin smile on his face. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then it's this terrible. guy, because there's a third uh, one, is running up on Ophelia. Oh, you done fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Patience learned it from Ophelia. <laughs> Guys, Rise of Tiamat, our campaign. You got Please done fucked up. Shit. Please look at this shit. I've done that it. one. 
You would have fucked no, up. No, uh, what, I rolled a natural two, so that's uh, seven <laughs> to hit. No. And I rolled a, a 12. Nope. All right. Why are you guys being paid for? They're not being paid. That's the thing. They work with the cult. Exactly. They're zealots. <laughs> They're doing this purely out of conviction. Anyway, Tarsius. <laughs> Fuck him up. Tasted Tarsius. Oh, no. <laughs> As he sets his great axe, like, he just, like, kind of sticks it into the floor first. I'm going to step knuckles. over this guy. <laughs> Look at this Yanti. I just imagine Patience just looking up at this Yanti like... So Patience, your 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 point of view of this is you see a shadow fall over <laughs> you. As you look up and all you see is just, just, just the shadow of Tarsius' face and just like that glint of anime red eyes. <laughs> Please draw that. I'm going to look at this Yanti and be like, that's my little sister. Aww. Aww. And I'm gonna attack. All right, first Maybe attack. Right. All right. Go for it. And uh, do I get flanking advantage? Speaking of flanking, that looks like a flank to okay, me, bud. <laughs> As Ferris kind of yells out, "You have advantage on flanking, Tarsius." <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Twenty-five to hit. Yes, that hits. Okay. Uh, that's a D twelve plus five. That's. <laughs> 12 points of damage. Okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming he's not dead. I'm going to use my haste hit action to attack again. Do it. Oh, that might be... Oh! <coughs> I rolled a 19. So, so that's... that's a... So that's a crit with my uh, axe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, no, uh, crit because of fighter, not my axe. Uh, but because my axe crits, I'm going to do an additional damage. Cool. Yep. Uh, so, it's, um, 2d12s plus Goodness. 12. I love Wait, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 2d12s plus 12. Go for it. Goodness. That's a, oh, that's not the best. That's 11, uh, 25 points of damage. <laughs> Is he still alive? He's still alive. Okay. He's bloody now. Um, because Cordelia is going to use her reaction to, uh, brother, you need to hit harder. And, uh, use one of her superiority die to, uh, do the commander strike, which... Uh, oh, she needs to do it on her turn. Wait, uh, you forgo one of your attacks. And use the bonus action to... Okay, so never mind. She'll do that on her turn. Okay. All right. All never right. mind. It's not a... I thought it was a reaction thing. Never mind. Uh, on your turn, you can use any attack. Yep. All these have to be on her turn. Okay. So, I did that. I am going to immediately, after using one of my attacks, I'm going to use Hammering Horn to try... Okay. To push in five feet this way. Because I don't want okay. him to... No, because I want the advantage. That's... That's... Fine. <laughs> fine. I guess that's all I'm doing this turn. Okay. Because I want to save my, uh, my action searches. All right, cool. Yeah, that, that's me. All right, as patience, you see just as the shadow falls over both you and the auntie, as Tarsius takes his axe, you see he brings it down, and you can just hear the crack of bone as he tears into him, and then again. But this Yanti just kind of, like, straightens up with his scimitar turn and turns around as he just, like, cracks his neck at you, uh, Tarsius. <laughs> patience will burn her reaction and just say... And Draconic again. I told you you messed up. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. Speaking of uh, enemies choosing to mess up, 
Ophelia, it's your turn. <laughs> Oh, it's time to roll some dice. Okay. Um, I'm going to do it centered, I guess, right here between those three. Because the one in front of me is not going to last that long. All right. <laughs> and Fair. I love this. Um, shatter. So I need a con save. Con save for just the one in front of you? No, uh, it's going to be centered right here. Oh, okay. I got you. All I'm right. going to do all three of those since it's in a 10-foot radius. All right. What is the uh, DC? My DC, uh, 14. All right. Only one fails. Okay. The other ones take half. Okay. 1d8, 2d8. Oh, I need another one. Four... Ten on the one that failed, and five on the other two. Okay. All right, that's easy math. Because I used to level two spell. As that one is bloodied. Okay, and then she's just gonna... Shatter in action. I'm just gonna, like, sidestep this one. Seven, five, ten, fifteen... This goes. No, I'll, I'll take the AO. 20. You take the AO? Okay. 30. So I have to be next to the Cordelia. Alright. God fucking damn. Shit. <clears throat> yeah, that's an 11. Yeah, that fails. Okay. She's gonna be like, Cordelia, be like, I got you, I'm right here. <laughs> so they, they ain't shit. We're, go we're good. Right, I mean, as... uh, don't tell your brother I cussed. <laughs> This Julie is like a good twenty feet from you. <laughs> and All right. That's gonna be it. All right. So as you say, you know they ain't shit. Immediately, <laughs> one. As they are going to each, don't move up. Don't. Don't do it. <clears throat> and they're gonna make their attacks. Oh, don't do it. All right, so first one is going to be at you, Ophelia, since you essentially engaged them. Mm-hmm. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, that happens quite a bit. Yeah, this does happen. Um. <laughs> Hello? Yes, sir. Champ, you're not on the initiative board, I'm sorry. <laughs> Champ, but... Dad, yeah, let me at him, let me at him. Right at him! Uh, seven. Nope. And... Don't you dare. I might have to mute for a minute. He, he dared. He dared to do it. <laughs> She's just so excited about fighting these Liz folk. <laughs> He's just... And... Fifteen is the other attack. Nope. Okay. So that's miss. Uh, second one coming to attack. Uh, one is an 18. Okay, that one passes. Okay. And I'll do and something then... in a second. That's like, I guess that passes. And then the other one's a 13. Uh, fail. But the one that passed, uh, whenever you do the attack for it, I have something for it. Okay. Alright, let me go ahead and roll that damage real quick. And that's five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, uh, Wrath of Storm. Okay. I need a deck save. Nine. Fails. 2d8. <laughs> Lightning. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen points! I maxed out on one. Okay, that's exactly the amount you needed, so. Bro! <laughs> I told you not to. I would both fuck you up. <laughs> I was doing this for your own good, man. Right, as the one uh, as the one kind of like raises its club, smacks down on Ophelia, and you see as she immediately kind of like an electric eel almost charges as just this <laughs> burst of electricity just like goes up its arm and into its body as he just convulses and then falls over smoking. Excellent. 
Excellent. Like Cordelia, I told you we got this. It ain't shit. <laughs> that is the Jesus. last one is going to attack Cordelia. Okay. <clears throat> Mistakes are going to be made. Um, <sighs> uh, first one is a twelve. Uh, yeah, her AC is higher than that. It and is, twenty-four yeah. is the second one. Twenty-four. That's pretty high, and it hits. Uh, yeah, her shield master doesn't do anything for this. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's gonna be eight points of bludgeoning damage for her. How much? Eight points. Eight points. Eight points of bludgeoning damage. So, I, I know. Sister. Okay. Yeah, on your sister. As Ophelia, as you turn to tell Cordelia, they ain't shit. You see the one kind of come up as. It brings its club down at Cordelia. Cordelia just kind of like moves out of the way for the first attack, but then it kind of brings it around, and you like hear hear it just like give her a solid hit into the ribs. Mm. She just lets out a ah, noise. That one's next. It's okay. <laughs> that one's next. It's okay. Okay. And seeing as those are the only alive ones, Alistair. He's going to move over here. Okay. And uh, do two attacks on this guy. All right, go for it. Okay, first one is a 17. Do it, Ellie. Okay. Let me find my die. All right, first one's damage is... Eleven. Eleven? Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. And I'll do his second attack as well. Oh, that's a nat 20. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> All right. Roll me to confirm. Yay! We've had s such good luck on crits, right? On this, uh... It's a 13. Okay. All right, so roll me that Boom. crit damage. What is the crit damage? Is it uh, doubled? Double, what is it? Uh, double the die. Okay. I need more. What the heck is my other die? It is not good. Give me. Here we go. Okay. Sounds like you need more dice. It's seven o'clock. Four. <laughs> Seventeen. I mean, seven, Seventeen. Okay. That's the that's the total damage. Yeah, for the second one. He's barely hanging on. Barely hanging on. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh. As Alistair comes running over, you see him as he kicks up his sword and just like swings into the momentum as he hits once, and then the second time you can see it as it like kind of cuts into the ribs up into uh, his shoulder bone. You just feel the bone break from the impact. And you see as the Yanti's just kind of like standing there. He just drops his scimitar as he's just like just barely hanging on. Get him, Jayon! Okay. And with that, it is Jayon's turn. Jayon! And he is going to basically block him in and do the same. Come on, Jaybird, do it! Do it! Jaybird. Jesus Christ, Jaybird. Jaybird! Jaybird? Jaybird? <laughs> First attack. That hits. And. Yeah. Alright, both hit. I'm just gonna say because he hit him, it's gonna. He's got to at least do more than one point of damage. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely. Most likely. As uh, Jayon just kind of seems to snap out of it as he runs forward into the fray, basically doing the same move, uh, almost mirroring Alistair in a way, as they both kind of swing their swords, and he just, like, cuts once upwards into him, and you see as, like, the shoulder where the bone was just barely hanging on just kind of, like, bisects, and he just, like, hangs into before kind of slumping onto the ground. Patience looks at Jayon. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and Cordy, it's your turn. Okay, so Cordelia is mm -hmm. going to um... 
I believe in you. She's going to drop her bow uh, and she hits her rapier to attack. She is, uh, I believe if I do this right now. Oh, I just lost it. Where is it? Uh, menacing strike, menacing attack, right? Yes. Uh, on a hit, they're frightened. Okay, so she is going to use menacing attack on her first. Uh, so she's gonna use the purity die and add menacing. Okay. So if I hit, they need to make a wisdom saving throw of DC 14. Okay, right, go for let's it. Let's see if this is, this is rolling really good for you. So let's continue on that. Let's plus this. Speed. Oh, probably that's a. I think that's a miss. It was gonna be a dirty twenty, and then it goes down to a ten. That does not hit. I don't know if the security is wasted if I called it. Uh, I mean, you. Okay, well I'm gonna try doing that again. All right. All right. Uh, she's going to instead attack this guy because if she hits, that's sneak attack because there's a friend within five feet. That's so. true. Uh, we're gonna try doing that. Uh, that is a twenty uh, two. Uh, yep, that hit. Do I lose superiority dice? If oh nope, uh, I I got some some lady. Uh, superiority. Oh. I spelled something <laughs> wrong. I press enter. Superiority. Whoopsies. Dice. If not dice. Dice. If. I miss. Why are you adding extra words? I don't want lyrics to a song named Dice. Oh my lord. Okay. Question about. Okay, whatever. We're gonna. We're gonna just gonna do the attack. Uh, and I'll, if I get it back, cool. So that's going to okay. be. Uh, D. Um, I guess. Do do do. Where's your? It's a D eight, right? Yes. Okay. Uh. Because that is a customized weapon. Okay, cool. So it's a D6 of electricity, D6 of sneak attack, and then D8 of the rapier. So let's roll the damage. I guess give props to Jeremiah for playing the most complicated character builds and just yeah, doing he it so, loves, effort so effortlessly. He loves complicated builds. I love builds. him. I love him. This is going to be 6, 7, 8, 9, 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage. Okay. Yes. Uh, he is looking really hurt. Okay, so when you hit or when you make an attack, so I need to read it carefully. Okay. Uh, so when you hit, so since I did not hit, it's not wasted. Okay. Um, so I'll take that back. Okay. All right. All right, so just a regular attack on the one? Yeah, that was uh, pretty okay. much, yeah. Just one attack uh, and miss on the other one, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm still a little... You take the attack action on your turn, you can forego one of your attacks as a bonus to direct... And use a bonus to direct an ally. Oh, so... I use an act. Okay, cool. I le I'm learning how to read his character. Cool. All right. Let's. Okay. All right. Done. Done. All right. As uh, Ophelia, you see as Cordelia, she kind of slings her rapier out to uh, attack the one that's next to her. But you see as it kind of parries off of of his great club, and with that, she kind of like pivots on her foot and then just thrusts forward in almost a riposte stance as it catches into the ribs of the lizard folk that's ahead, of, like right in front of you. Ooh. And she kind of looks at you. She's like, "You're right. They're they they're not shit." <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. Ferris is gonna just keep on hanging out back there. She's <laughs> gonna maybe inch forward a little bit. Just like, if anyone needs healing, just let me know. Okay. 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 Two thumbs up. Okay. Oh, they... All right, back okay. to this motherfucker. <laughs> As Irian is gonna gonna kind of put himself right there, 
as we got them two boys, he's going to make his attacks against them, as he's actually going to use his bonus action to move his Hunter's Mark. And... Attack one, attack two. Okie doke. Both are going to hit. Do this damage. So much dice for Rangers. So many click clacks. So many, so many click clacks for the Ranger. All right. All the click clacks. All the, all the click clacks. Oh, that guy's looking bad too. As Yuli, you see as Yuli, um, you see as uh, Irene just kind of like r rushes forward as he pulls out, uh, knocking another arrow as he uh, aims it straight for uh, the Yanti that's right next to you. You see as it hits like dead center into its chest, like almost like right at the heart, as it kind of staggers back, clutching it, and it looks like it's barely hanging on. As he immediately turns, fires same same direct hit into the other Yanti. Says, numbers. There we go. All right, and that is what he is going to do. That Yanti's having a bad day. Oh, he's having a real bad day. Patience, what's up? 10, 15, 20. I'm gonna make him even have even more of a bad day. What's worse than one patience, two patients? Oh no! <laughs> and she's gonna. At one two. point, I'm pretty sure that's something that that her her guardian thought of. <laughs> it's worse than one, two of them. Oh, uh, and she's gonna do chill touch on the guy in front of her. Sure, roll okay. me attack. And that's advantage, right? Is it flanking? That's correct. That is flanking. I'll take the nat twenty. <laughs> All right. Roll me to confirm. <laughs> Five. Okay, so roll me your crit. Jesus Christ! A lot of dice. Jesus Christ! I have a question for you. Is it over three? Yes. Okay, that's all you needed. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> His patience just kind of like hops over several corpses to run up on this soon to be corpse as she shoots another chill touch up as it catches this time on his throat. And you see as it's like burning and rotting uh, into the throat, Yuli, as you just smell that sick smell of decay as okay, it that, falls over. That movement, that was 20 feet of movement? Yeah. 30 gets her here. All right. And then she's going to move her uh, mirror image. 5, 10, 15. 25. Okay. And just start annoying the shit out of this other blizzard man. How, uh, just for fun, how are you annoying him? Her mirror image is just gonna, like, um, dance around and go, What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Patience is probably doing the same damn thing, too. So it's like they're both echoing. They're doing it's it like, at the same, at the same time, time, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Oh, no. Two patience. That's a terrible, terrible thing to happen. Okay, Yuli. And to make it even sorry, to make it even more annoying, she's saying in draconic. Of course. So. All right, Yuli, you're up. I I is gonna walk right there. Okay. I'm gonna hit that one in front of me. I okay. Did not realize that guy was there. Whoop. Yep, he was right there. <laughs> Been there the whole time. Whoop. <laughs> Oops. That's a 19. That hits. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna hit him twice because I did it twice. Uh, you're always thinking about like, I guess I'll hit you again. Give you a bad day. It's like, uh, fifteen damage. I didn't feel, I didn't feel anything the first time. One more time. Uh, fifteen damage, you said. <laughs> yes. Okay. All 
All right, mm -hmm. he's looking kind of hurt. Do you want to move or you want to stay there? No, I'm gonna stay there. You want to stay there? That's all I can do. Right there. <laughs> right there. This is my limit. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> like, that's one copper, two coppers, that's it. All right, gotta wait, gotta wait for the next one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so, uh, so was that just, all right, that's, that's your attack, you done? All right. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. It's funny as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. Now it's the snake man's turn. Oh, boy. Snake man. <sighs> snake a snake turn. Snake a snake a snake snake. God fucking damn, these dudes are rolling absolute shit. Well, I'm glad it's yeah, it's actually NPCs. And it's, not because, it's because all of our, our, all of our bros are like, if you touch patience, we will riot. Well, this guy was gonna attack Yuli, so yeah, I mean... it, like it's they're inching towards <laughs> patience. Like, so all your attacks are already with bad juju's. So, uh, fifteen and an eleven. Yeah. Uh, the fifteen just hits. Okay. It's something. Oh, he actually maxed on his damage. Good for him. So that's gonna be nine points of slashing damage. For Did you. you just do a good for you? <laughs> He's been having a rough day. They've been rolling such shit. He well, gets this. Good I for I you. I Yuli gave him a pity hit. <laughs> Yuli just stood there and took it. Like I'll let you have it. Uh, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> or any, anywhere, anywhere. Just, just, just. <laughs> Alright, so that was that whole slashing damage. As he just kind of like slices like di uh, diagonally at you, Yuli, and you're just like, I'll let you have it. <laughs> oh. Yes. Okay, I think it might hit me now. Okay, big boy. You're okay. up. Okay. So, this is what I'm gonna do. Um. I can, oh, I'm hasted. You are yeah. hasted. What's my? What's, I can move fifty feet, right? Yep, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Run, trip myself. Oh, oh, get up! Grab my axe because I was just running too fast. You're gonna die. Um, <laughs> And I'm going to uh, do both my attacks on the lizard boy in front of me. First All hit. Right. Will not take that nap. One, this is probably still a miss. That it's 12. 12, that is going to miss. Okay, cool. I rolled. Yeah, that was bad. All right, and then second attack. That is a dirty 20. That'll hit. Okay. So that's one the that eight. I mean, the 12. That is going to be eight points of damage. Um, and uh, that's it for right now. Okay. Yeah, that's all he's going to do. Because he fumbled and tripped. That's fair. Yep. This guy's looking pretty hurt. Because he is bloodied. Yep, 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 yep. As you just kind of like, kind of fumble, trip the first time, then you bring around for a second one and this one uh, the lizard folk just kind of like turns around to look at you he looks very like overwhelmed and confused as he's being kind of assaulted from all sides and then there's like a tiny little dancing child that keeps yelling at him don't <laughs> worry you... i'm i'm what always confused i just just hit whatever's hitting my sister that's what i do <laughs> all right that it yeah that's the end of my turn okay ophelia I was not prepared. Okay. If you um, dial up internet for a moment. Yes. Let me do what I was going to do earlier. Let me do... Let me take my, my big old shiny triton out. Okay. And do a divine favor on it so it has an extra d4 on it for radiant right. damage. Gotcha. And uh, let me do the one in front of me. Let me attack that one. I don't know if my mirror image gives advantage or not. I don't think so. Because it's an illusion. It, that's all the discretion. Yeah. I'll say 
yes for the fa fact that you're using it to distract and annoy him. I'll take the 15, 16, 17, 18 to hit. That'll hit. Okay, and then it's a D8 plus a D4 for the radiant. Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. On that one. That you only needed three. <laughs> <laughs> As that guy looks really hurt. I'm not, I'll, I'll face you. I'm, I'm not looking like him. I'll ah. face it towards you. Yeah. As you, with your trident, you kind of thrust it forward, and it kind of sparks out with radiant energies, just nukes into him, and he just falls over uh, dead onto his partner. All right. Anything else? Okay. Um. Let me. You only got it. I'm just gonna go this way. Five, ten, fifteen. Let me just let me just be right there, J just in case. Just in case. All right. Just in case. All right, which it is his turn. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh. It's just like looking around, just being surrounded on all sides. And he is going to choose to attack the big guy that just came up at him, and that is a natural fucking 20. Holy I was shit. gonna say my AC is 18, but that, that hits. <laughs> okay. You cornered the lizard man and- You cornered him and he panicked, is what <laughs> happened. Yeah, uh, yeah. Poor guy. Oh, poor guy. He's not getting paid at all. So that'll be 13 points of bludgeoning damage as his one attack will right. catch you in the ca catch you kind of in the ribs. And then his other attack was only a four, so. Oh, okay. I still have more HP than my sister at max. You are very beefy. Uncle West fed you very well. <laughs> I can just imagine Taurus is as a baby. Uh, just... I'm using this uh, antidote from a friend of mine who, uh, anytime they were making food, we just start grabbing, just eating veggies. And his yeah. mom had to like hit him on the hand and like, nope, he's gonna still keep eating the veggies. That's that's Tarsius. Yes, <laughs> correct. And All I right. Don't have a pencil. Uh, Alistair, you're up. All right, I'll put on the indie. God, there's like to... nothing he can do from that he, far away. He can move. He can jog Not his way anywhere. Over. Not anywhere significant. All right. Well, I'm paying attention to to Addy. Oof. We got this guy. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do a thing. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Anything uh, else, Alistair? Uh. No. <laughs> He's just gonna jog over, like all happy. Like, yay, we're doing it! Yay! We're beating the bad guys! Excellent. Oh, Allie. <sighs> 30 will get Shay on right there. That's pretty much all he can do at the moment. Okay, uh, Cordelia. Okay, so what Cordelia is going to do is, uh, she was going to use one of her superiorities, but she's not. Um, she's going to attack first and see if she can kill it. Uh, advantage, so sneak attack. She's okay. going to repair. Uh, oh, Cordy. That's an 11. That'll miss. Yeah, so she will use a superiority die. Okay. Uh, and is going to use commanding strike, so her bonus action is going to be for me to attack it. She's going to be like, brother, just just finish him off. He's jumping too much. And I'm going to like, okay, and then I'll get destroyed. And if I okay. hit, um, uh, you take your, yeah, okay, so she has to use security dice here. You forgot the attack. Okay, cool. Uh, and if I hit, I am going to do a D12 plus a D8 plus 5. 
And that is going to be 23 to hit. That'll hit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So that these, please, five, so that's, ooh, that's a 12 on a d12. So, uh, describe how you kill him. <laughs> Since your base attack was a 12. <laughs> oh, okay. So Cordelia's gonna strike at him and miss, and she's just going to hold the hand back, just just hit him. So like uh, the the vibrating um, rapier is like holding against his throat. They're like, okay, uh, madam, can you move back a little bit? I'm just gonna like move uh, Phoebe just a slight bit. All right, just like Uncle West help me. <laughs> and cut him and run in half. But oh, specifically, so the axe goes in his way, so it splatters away from the girls and just on the ground so they don't get dirty and then uh since it's cordelia's turn she's just gonna like drop him yep the the one uh, one maneuver of finesse that was taught yes this is really where to where to wreck the force yes because his uncle ori always got mad at him yeah, <laughs> you always have part when you have party members that get a little mad when they get their stuff dirty. You just kind of learn to anyway. Mend it, don't be yeah. fine. All right, that it for Cordy. Uh, yeah, that's that is her turn. All right, Ferris is. There, you gonna move herself, oh, Ferris? Right over here. She's kind of like running with her with her bag. She kind of like trips halfway, gets up. She just collects oh, like a baby. like a couple potions that kind of fall out. She's oh. like, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh no, child. All right, an <laughs> Irian. As he's basically gonna go ahead and just call the shot on that guy. Just moves his hunter's mark, strides over that way, and let's see what you do, bud. So the lowest he can roll, the lowest he rolled was a 12, which is the AC for the guy. Oh, okay. And so his next roll was a 27. Mm-hmm. So, um, what's this guy's max HP right now? Okay, he's got some left. All right. He can do a thing or two. He can, he can do a thing. <clears throat> And it was Hunter's Mark. All right, 12 plus numbers. All right. This guy is looking really bad. As Irian just kind of like two arrows at once knocked as he fires them in both of them kind of like hit like gr the grouping is very immaculate by the way as he seems to like hit continuously in the same spot from his his last attack and with that it's patient's turn 5 10 15 gets her here standing next to her double as they like kind of like grab hands and like twirl around for a second <laughs> A little ring and, around the rosy. Yeah. And then she's going to look over at this one and aim a uh, firebolt at it. All right. Because why not? That actually might not hit. I don't know. What'd you get? Oh, Is that a six or a nine? That's six. Okay. Fourteen. That still hits. <laughs> Again, these guys have low AC. I gotta remind myself on something with this, though. What you gotta remind yourself? Uh... Elemental affinity. Okay. Twenty-three points of fire damage. That's okay. Kind of a bit of fire damage. Twenty-three, you said. Yeah. Patience. How do you want to do this? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I 
as she just <laughs> charges up, just like this very concentrated blast of fire as it shoots through. Like, essentially, you see where Arian's firing his arrows, and you're like, that's the spot. That's what I need to hit. And you just, like, line it up, yep. fire it through. As you see, like, for a moment, just, like, the inside of, of his bare torso light up with the fire and just, like, explodes out the other side. As it just kind of singes the arrows, and Arian's like, oh, come on, I was going to collect those later. She looks back at her uh, at her double, and her double's like, good job, Patience. Yes, Patience, that was a very good job. <laughs> they give each other a high five. <laughs> Eva goes... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. And so, with the, the enemies defeated, and for the, whatever remainder time she has left, I know it only lasts a minute, but they're going to be insufferable. <laughs> All right, they will be insufferable for the rest of that minute as... With combat over, let's go ahead and take a break and then come back and see what else awaits deeper within the tomb. Oh, exciting. All right. And now, uh, intermission. Do you blame yourself? Well, it's quite common in this situation for a patient to feel a kind of guilt. What situation? The accident.
Okay. So. Let me get to my... As your battle, your small skirmish with the uh, lizard folk and Yanti guarding this chamber of the dungeon uh, comes to an end. One of them having fled into the darkness. What do we do? Uh, did anyone need a rest? Uh, mirror image. She would cancel the mirror image. Okay. I'm looking at them. Um, does anyone need a rest? Because, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm gonna sit down. Oh yeah, the, as the haste comes to uh, an end yeah. as well. I'm sorry, you okay? I... How long does it last? One minute or one round? One minute. Okay. So by the time that this... I'll say by the time this ends, you've got like a couple seconds left. And then just kind of... You're like, does anybody need a rest? And I'm just going to sit there for a full minute. Uh -huh. uh, yep. As Tarsius looks like his blood sugar just dropped. <laughs> Give me. Give me an apple. I need an apple. I don't have an apple. Ferris just kind of, kind of carefully like, walks around all the all the dead things. Just, eh, eh. Um, I don't know if I have an apple in my bag, but let me let me see. She just kind of like rifles around in it. Patience is gonna just look down the hall. She's not gonna go down the stairs. She's just looking. As patience quite literally toes the line. Mm-hmm. Ferris just kind of digs through a bag. It's like, I don't have an apple, but I have a, a, a potion if you want it. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? You you look like you... Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm okay. All right. It's a little closer. All right. Uh, Fifi and Yuli, what do we do? <laughs> uh, yeah, Fifi's gonna be like, uh, y'all, she's gonna be like, she's gonna be like, y'all, y'all are good, y'all are okay, and then she's like, patience, patience, I'm, just, I'm like moving, I'm moving the Fifi cursor towards her, but patience. What? I'm not going anywhere. Can, I, does patient have dark vision? Yeah. Yes, she does. Okay, I was about to say, can I see anything 60 feet, or can she see anything with hers? From this point, you don't really see much. You just see a very dim hallway just shrouded in shadows, just kind of the same as the one you had walked down before. What do I see? What? What do I see? Uh, you, you both have about oh. the same dark vision, so oh, okay. same thing she sees. As mm. both of you roll me a perception. Ooh, Yuli, right, right here in the middle. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Eight. All right. As for the most part, Fifi, all you're seeing is just just dark shadows that eventually just kind of like are just engrossed in, in darkness as mm -hmm. you just kind of look down and patience you're kind of looking down the hallway as you're just trying to just trying to force yourself to see something just out of pure stubbornness and as you do so you kind of hear this very faint it, it could be it could be a draft uh, through the tunnel but you just hear this this very kind of even kind of tone. Almost yeah, it sounds like noise. D do you see anything more than I do? Pa patience! <laughs> <laughs> Her ears are kind of just like listening, but she's like wanting to kind of like move a little bit closer if she's listening. It's like that. I didn't know I was moving forward. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what? Do, do you see anything? Or do you hear anything? I, I can't. I, 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 not, I can't. What, what do you hear? Just gonna take another few steps down just so you can hear it better. Oh, oh, is this how... Her little coach just go doop doop down the steps. Is, is this how Yuli feels all the time? Oh, self-reflection <laughs> there. Is this growth? <laughs> I'll move him that way, by the way. <laughs> so you're in the background just like, yes, exactly. <laughs> Oh. Uh, pa patience, what what do you hear? What what do you hear with your... No, oh. what do you... You're a child. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, well, just stay right here. Wow. <laughs> oh. But why? Oh, why? Oh, why? I'm gonna look into my, fu my child's future. Because I say so. Just stay right here. <laughs> why? Wait, which child? Yeah. All of all of the children. All of the. All of the Why? She has a list. <laughs> oh, you don't. She, yeah. She's like, fine. I'll I'll sit right. And she just sits on the step. I'll sit right here. Oh, okay. Okay. She sits down. Scouts honor. Scouts honor. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What are the rest of us doing? I'm still crawling. Okay. Until we're off. Then I'm right. pretty sure my sister's just gonna be like, alright, alright. Just patting on the- It's kinda of just right. patting you on the forearm, just like, it's okay. Just even too. breaths. <sighs> She's just- just like, still- still kind of like conducting what you do. She's just like, you're supposed to put your hands on your hips to open your rib cage so you can get in the air. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't bend forward. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alistair, what are we doing? Uh, he's probably going to. He's gonna. He's gonna move over by his bro. Oops. Ah! Ah. <laughs> Wait, come back. Just kind of bumping He's just like, really? He just moved forward. He's he's just gonna stay with him and like watch these two. Okay, right. I gotta move them over because my thing is, it won't let me grab characters, so I have to move them with my keypad. Patience is just gonna sit there and with the little fur piece on her hip, just like pull, like play with it, kind of like as one would a doll. Right. As Ophelia, you see her playing with this uh, little piece of uh pelt that looks like it's like it's, it's made of some kind of like weasel or ferret or something that she's playing with it uh, oh okay okay and then she's gonna she's gonna look back and be like uh are y'all coming over here there's something mm. over here i think mm. <laughs> your head in between your knees mm. ah! <laughs> <laughs> As eventually it does wear off, Tarsus. Okay, yeah, then I'll be like, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Ferris <laughs> <laughs> oh, is just like, no, wait for me. Um, yeah, uh, and uh. Oh, cool! Everybody's here. She's gonna stand up, let the little oh, piece just like land back on her uh belt, and she's like, okay, come on, follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. She's just like, can I leave this time, please? I'm going to look at her and be like, wait. It's like, I told her to wait. How many potions do you have? <laughs> um, I have about three of the just, just they're just regular healing potions. I, I, I packed them myself. I didn't get them from our, uh, our, our you know. Okay. They were they weren't issued to me, I should say. They they those are for paladins. Squires. Oh. Are <laughs> All right, Ferris, Ferris. Calm, calm down, Ferris. Ferris, calm down. Well, if you give someone a potion in the middle of a fight, then you will be in it, and that's where I don't want you to be. But I'm um, supposed to be helping. Right. I'm a squire. It's what I do. I want to, you know, be a knight like you know Sir Alistair and Sir okay. Jaya. 
Do you know how to flank someone? Um, yeah, it's when, it's when you're going around and you give your... Do you know you how to defend your yourself? Uh, for the most part, I, I have this, and she, like, holds up her parry dagger. Okay, well, I want you to defend yourself if you need to get involved in anything. And then just give out the potions so you can be accustomed to what's happening before you actually get involved. I feel that what's happening up there is going to get scarier once we get down there. Okay. If you want to give someone a potion. Or you can send in the back and if someone falls, that's when we need you. Yeah, I, I also can do the... I, I have helping hands like what Sir Alistair says. and Ooh, that's cool. like she like holds up her 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 hands, you know, like her little cat beams just kind of like glow with like a golden energy. Oh, that's cool. <coughs> oh. Okay, um, I'm gonna just look uh, above her and like, okay, I said cute little girl in my head. I'm like, that's embarrassing, and I start walking oh. down. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna grab patience, put Me. her on my horns. All right, <laughs> you're driving. Okay. I'm like, oh, <laughs> she moves her, she moves Tarsi's, she just pushes her horns forward. Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> Alright, as you continue down into the hallway, uh, once you reach a certain <coughs> point, you all start to hear the same thing Patience heard, where it's just like this, just this symphony of just like this noise that, yes, not that noise, champ. Mm. Thank you for contributing. Mm. Mm. Is you just hear the this? Noise, the noise. It's just this continuous kind of static. As you eventually see. Oh. Do we need to? I'm gonna look at Cordelia. Do we need to cover our ears? I, hear, I mean, I hear the noise. Or maybe our eyeballs. We we're not supposed. I don't remember what it was. <coughs> we don't breathe. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't sound right. As soon enough, you come to a as as the as the corridor just kind of seems to narrow out until you're looking at this bridge before you, and on that bridge, oh, you see several more. Oh my God, that's a bridge! Look at that bridge! Look at that bridge! You see this bridge that extends out over this black chasm as you just, the noise is just cacophonous now, just this, just constant coming from below. As you see these lizard folk standing on the bridge, and at the very end, you see two Yanti soldiers as they all look to you as you approach, and they all start uh, yelling at each other in draconic as the lizard folk bring out their weapons and the two Yanti on the end with these massive long bows start taking aim at you. Patience just like looks down at like Tarsis and be like, uh, what if we just tell them that we surrender? And then they come over here. Sure. You want to try? If they touch you or Cordelia, I'll kill them. Patience just yelling out to them, We surrender in Draconic. <laughs> I'm taking a, uh, a full defense when she does that. She'll just be like... Yeah, I guess she'll even... Yeah, just pretty much... I didn't hear anything you said if you said words. No, what? she would just be... She would just probably like... Pat Tarsius on the head. Let me down. Let me down. So he lets you down. Mm -hmm. Oh, the thing I needed to do with Alistair, but I forgot. Yeah, she'll just go up. Yeah. We Ooh. surrender. As she's saying that, I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait one second. Um, I'm going to grab two javelins. Here you go, sir. You As... seem to have absolutely no range. So here you go. Um... Uh... What am I, what? I'm giving you two javelins. Oh, cool. Because you have no rage. So now you have two javelins, if you want to take them. 
Sure, I'll take him. All right, so Alistair, you have two javelins now in your inventory. All right, as patients, you shout, we surrender. Uh, the Yanti, uh, are you saying this in Draconic? Yes. Okay, as the one uh, lowers <coughs> his bow as he steps forward and in Draconic telling you, throw down your weapons, all of you. Dad. She'll repeat that to everybody in common. They oh. want us to throw down our weapons. How about we walk over there and give it to him? To his hand. She'll just be like, we won't attack, we'll just bring you the, our weapons. Roll me persuasion. <laughs> While Patience is doing this, uh, I know Ophelia usually has her Triton away, but she's gonna be like, Yuli, be like, put put your halberd in the bag. <sighs> Real quick. <laughs> Roll, right me stealth. Roll me stealth, huh? both of you, if you're doing that. Stealth. <laughs> they want to stealth. Right. Uh, yeah. 24. Jesus Christ. Huh. Flexing that charisma. <laughs> Waiting for Fifi Kids and Yuli's really stealth. As Tarsius and Alistair are very <laughs> large, so they might be able to get away with it. Sounds straight. Uh, I got a, Fifi got a 9, and Yuli, what'd you get? 18. 18? Bad. That, that balances it. <laughs> so, what was it they were trying to do? They're hiding their bags in the bag of holding. <laughs> or, I should say, Ophelia's uh, clutch of holding. <laughs> it's a little evening clutch bag. So. I will say for Yuli, Yuli successfully gets his, his halberd into the bag as he just like quickly deposits Leliana right as you're about to put your beautiful shiny trident in. You hear the, uh, the Yanti bark at you all. Just, I said weapons down. Put it in the bag, baby. <laughs> She's still gonna be like, just going down in the bag. Okay. <laughs> That's technically <laughs> putting her weapons down. Put the bag on her sh the bag on her shoulder. Oh, tell him it's an offering for no. for the for the dragon lady. Yeah, it's an offering for Den. Da. Gengar. You do you know that name? Does patients know that name? I thought we had heard that earlier, but never mind. Yeah, I I know that Tarsi has butchered it by saying Gengar. Yeah. Yeah, Gengar. <laughs> Yeah, Gengar. Yeah, Am yeah. I saying it right? For 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 that, I'm I will take a little bit away from your persuasion role. Oh. Uh -huh. No, is... even the child just being like, wait, I butchered that. She'll say that in Draconic, didn't I? I butchered that. Like adorable yeah. little child. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Oop. You will pay Oh, sword. If you we have money, we can pay. <laughs> you have money. You don't hear that, though. Switch is <laughs> to common. Oh, okay. Uh, for, for you guys. <laughs> you will... If you are here to make offering to our night mother, then... As the child said, walk across this bridge... And we will take you to where we offer her penance. If you try anything, then you will feed our young. As he will indicate over the, the ledge of the bridge. I'm look towards Yuli and Alistair, and I'm gonna just matter just let you know if we're going somewhere else with them, and there's more, we're just adding most of the fight at the end. Just think about that. After him being like, yeah, walk across the bridge, Patience like, cool, seems legit, starts walking. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn, Patience. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, do I, I don't know how far I can go, but I'm like, uh, uh. I'm like, no, child! <laughs> as they seem to move back, uh, as, uh, the one Yanti kind of like gives, kind of barks in Draconic to them, telling them to move aside to let the prisoners through. 
She's literally just skipping across the bridge. You know, just telling them, as you hear the words, make sure to close in from behind, don't let them escape. That's what's being said in Draconic. Yep, done and she's going to look back. Move to the side. Do I have to actually speak it, though? That's the question. Oh, you gotta whisper it. Shit, never mind, she won't do it. Okay. Message, yeah. Yeah, message. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she'll just keep going. Okay. Yeah, same. Right, so for the most part, is everyone just crossing the bridge? Yep. I'll just go and stand in front of the one Yanti. How big are they, by the way? Yanti are about medium size, so Tarsius is going to still be taller than them. So okay, but to this patience. Thing, to patience, you come up to maybe about their thigh. Hey, you're big. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to, I don't know how far you want me to go, DM, but I'm going to keep going down. Uh, if it, I'll say if everybody's crossing the bridge, just mm-hmm. with, if that's the only thing you're doing, then you make it across. Patience just standing in front of the Yanti and then just asking, so do you like sense heat with your tongue like how snakes do? A very vomit question. As he just kind of looks at you and just flicks his tongue out. Doesn't say anything. Ah, okay. (laughs) Yeah, she'll just go around then like, okay. As Jayon moves forward and just looks back, Alistair, are you coming? Do we have to? Mm-hmm. Do you want to make it across the bridge in one piece, or do you want to be... And he just kind of, like, indicates down to the chasm below you, which seems to expand for, like, about, like, a hundred feet or so. Um, Alistair's gonna hold his breath across the bridge. <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing? He just gestures to himself that he can't breathe. Because he can't what? speak. That's fucking adorable. <laughs> Why? Okay. All right, come on. And they, everybody starts beep, beep, kind of moving beep, across. Beep, beep. As you do, the lizard folk kind of move to block the rest of the bridge. Essentially just kind of cornering you in. Mm-hmm. The cross. The Yanti will just kind of move to either to move to the front and just Now your weapons. Mine's very special and magical. So I will present it myself. You will give us your weapons. I could hurt you really bad. Patience just holds out her boomerang, just like. <laughs> we're, coming, we're doing this peacefully. <laughs> just holds out her boomerang. And he will take your boomerang, put it on his belt, just. And we are being peaceful by not slaughtering you here and now. Did you see all the rooms on the other side? Me. My station has been here. And my will has been to the mother. Great. Were they wills to the mother or to themselves? Because they died. Because they did not want to do this peacefully. (laughs) Are you trying to intimidate them? Yeah, why not? (laughs) Okay, roll me intimidation. Cool. Minus one, so that's a plus four. (laughs) Uh, 19. Nice. Okay. Let's see. No, plus one, not minus one. My bad. As you say this to him, you see as his neck starts to extend as he kind of like goes up to about your eye level. Oh, that's so cool. That's creepy, but cool. Are you threatening me? Can I have patience do something? Threats are for children. We are having a conversation. (laughs) Don't let your ego get in the way. 
I'm sorry, but when the guy extends his neck, Patience uh -huh. is gonna climb up Tarsius like a fucking squirrel. <laughs> and he'll really get back on his on like grab onto his horns and lean forward and bare her teeth and hiss at him. Oh yes. That's adorable. And her and just basically speaking in a draconic, it's like, look, he is speaking truth and I also help too. What are the rest of you doing? She's also trying to do intimidate. Uh, <laughs> Cordelia is probably going to like have her hand super close to her blade and just keep an eye on uh, on this other guy because she trusts her brother. Mm -hmm. So that's what she's doing. And then uh, she's going to look at uh, um, Ferris and be like, stay close to Alistair. Okay. Okay, and she's just kind of like... Alistair's still holding his breath and he's slightly turning red in the face. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair! He's holding his breath. <laughs> Alistair. He's not all the way across the bridge! Oh my god. Just, 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 you're just like, for the love of god, just take a breath. He shakes his head, no. Wait, oh just, my god. Just tickle him. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Taurus is standing his ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you do. The... You see the... Uh... The auntie looks past you and he... You know, barks at the <clears throat> lizard folk in Draconic for them to move in. As they move a little closer, just kind of like all their hands, just kind of like on their on their clubs, as they just kind of like eye you up and down. If Yuli sees that, he's just gonna start laughing out loud. <laughs> as the auntie just kind of looks at all of you, it's like you are not the first to trespass into our grounds. The dwarf uh... did the same, and we took him. Yeah, where is the dwarf? Oh. I am going to... Yeah? Uh, I think... I think we know the same language. Uh, let me expand her character sheet. The language is... I yeah. think you might. Yeah, yeah, we both know Minotaur. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Like, oh, so that's... I'm talking to Cordelia. So that's where the mask is. Okay. And As Cordelia is not going to say that because uh, uh, she's smarter than that, and I'm dumb. All right. She won't say anything. As you both oh. hold your short conversation in Minotaur. Uh -huh. She will whisper that behind her in Elvish. Okay. As for those that know Elvish. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Which I see pointed ears, so that's my that's the only thing I'm saying. Okay. That's fair, there are a lot of pointed ears here. I'm gonna look uh, I'm gonna set for no I'm not gonna set forward. As that's... Jayon, uh hearing that will repeat said message in Celestial. It's working! We're playing telephone! <laughs> uh, yeah, Alistair knows Celestial, so that's good. Uh, he's also... Still primordial. Possibly about to pass out! He's doing his best, he's doing, like, the dance. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I gotta pee dance, but it's like, I have to take a breath or I'll fucking pass out. Oh my god, yes. I will say Patience is technically on top of Tarsi uh, on top of Tarsius, so... Okay. Alistair can step forward across the bridge. <laughs> he won't be across, though. There's still a oh, serpent guy. It's the 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 the, uh, the Yanti kind of like look at each other and they kind of like exchange some words in like kind of like this guttural kind of language which Cordelia would recognize as abyssal. Mm -hmm. She's oh. like, "What's wrong with that one? He looks like it's about to die. Should we? <laughs> let, what do we do?" 
She's not gonna say anything. She's gonna chuckle. It's the one Yanti just kind of like looks at you, Alistair, and it's just like, what is wrong with your face? Why does it make that color? Can't breathe. <laughs> Why can't his breathe? veins popping out of his forehead like he's going nuts. It's a condition. He needs to cross the bridge. I've never heard of such a condition. What is wrong? Humans with are you? weird. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's just patience talking back and on it. You think I know how? Be- I've been around gnomes all my life. <laughs> oh my god. As the one just kind of, you know, takes. Oh. It's just like it, like it's about to fall over. Just. And Ferris just kind of like pushes forward, Alistair. To is, get you. is he across the threshold? Threshold? She'll push you to where you're across the threshold. He's just gonna go ah, like, like really loud. <laughs> and he's gonna turn back around and be like, "I did it." Patience looking at the auntie. Humans are weird. <laughs> They're really weird. So it looks like you are civil. We can cross. We really don't want to do any bloodshed. We're trying to do this peacefully. We really want to, and we're waiting for you to give us an excuse to do so, but... I don't feel like expending any more of my men. A wise choice, (laughs) says the (laughs) (laughs) eight-year-old. As uh, the one kind of turns to uh, to its friend and in abyssal says, "We'll take them to where we're holding the other prisoner." Okay, and we're gonna play chain again. Oh boy, Minotaur to Elven to Celestial. As that is essentially passed around. <laughs> And the Tritons hear none of it. <laughs> the Tritons hear absolutely none of it. They're just... The child hears none of it either because she only knows common draconic no mission infernal, so... Yep. <laughs> that's a shame nobody knows infernal. That's, that's, or primordial. That's <laughs> dang shame. Full of Abyssal. What she don't know. languages? Does she not know Abyssal? <laughs> huh? Does she know Abyssal? No, she only knows of okay. Infernal. Alright, yeah. It's... A dang shame. Dang shame. Oh, Jayon knows Draconic. I did not know that. (laughs) I forgot he knew Draconic. Oh my god! (laughs) I could have been getting help, Jayon. Jeez! It would have. No, it would have been help. Like, oh yeah, I forget. I know these words. No, but do you um, ever forget you're accidentally bilingual? He he conveniently forgot. You just forget. Do you ever just forget guess. your bilingual for a minute and you're like, oh. Uh, yeah, actually, that has happened to me. Yeah. But yeah, Patience is going to lean forward on, like, Tarsius, like, towards, like, the auntie, and it's just like, are there any dragons here? Are you just asking in general? It, yeah, in general and draconic. As eerie and just in draconic, I think this place is kind of small for a dragon. <laughs> Also, it's underground. Okay, but it doesn't hurt to ask. As the Yanti, for the most part, uh, motions for the lizard folk to close off the rest of the bridge as they move closer. As the one looks to you, Tarsius, if you choose to cross peacefully, then we shall lead you to where we venerate to our great mother. Okay. Sounds like a deal. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Can I have my toy back? No. Oh, I'm going to look at your toy in a minute. Okay. <laughs> As... Yeah, unless anybody's doing anything else. We move into the next room. <laughs> Let me get some things Ooh. together. Move some things ba-da, around. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. Beep, beep. Hello. Random TikTok messages. 
She there she is. They're back here. They're back here. these boys as we're walking I guess I'm gonna look at Elster yep, you're walking down the, the corridor uh, what did you have to hold your breath? What was uh, that for? It's good luck to hold your breath when you cross bridges. Wait, really? Yeah. So, it's awesome. Yeah. Like, you you have to do it like when you cross over bridges or when you are going through a graveyard. What if... But, wait, graveyards are really big. Can you hold your breath that long? Well, like, if you're just, like, passing through it... Like, not, like, stopping and, like, you know, doing the thing. Oh. As Jayon just kind of, like, leans over to you, it's like, guess how many bridges he's crossed? Uh, five. Sure. Oh, wow, I guess right. <gasps> Is your <laughs> luck rubbing off on me? Oh, yeah, wow. bro! He's gonna open his arms for a hug. Oh. oh. Yay! Okay, uh, right. As you guys are brought into a dimly lit chamber that just seems to kind of glow with this kind of green low light as you hear a ghost dog bark in the distance. So you are brought here. Oh. As the auntie uh, kind of like look at each other, uh, exchanging a couple of more words in abyssal. As the one says to the other, have them wait here while I go and tell the others, and then we and then we will do as we need to. Oh, they said that in Abyssal? In Abyssal. Oh, okay. So only Cordelia knows this. That's the one. My sister goes knows down. Abyssal. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Down the hall. That's the next one. Kind of ordering the the lizard folk to stand guard. Two right here, and then the three just kind of stand around right there. As the one Yanti leans against the wall, just his hand kind of on his uh, scimitar. Also, the one that had the had your boomerang is the one that left. Ah! <laughs> oh, we'll get it back. Um, I think it just says to you all, Tarsus. make yourself comfortable. It might be a wait. She's it's a very large Tarsus. dungeon. Hmm. Shoulders and just climb down again like a squirrel. Yep. Yeah. As uh, essentially in this room, you see uh, very high ceilings as it's about maybe like 20, 30 feet high. Uh, this uh, carved relief in the middle of the room of this snake just kind of encompassing what looks to be uh, a circle. DM. What? Is there an echo in the room? Uh, considering the high ceilings, yes, there are acoustics. And you see two large, like, large-sized uh, suits of armor just kind of against, like, flanking either side of the wall as there is a small chest on the other side. I'm gonna pop a detect magic. Okay. You do so. And don't really sense anything. That's the only magical theme thing seems to be just the light that emits from uh, that emits from the, the relief itself, but okay. it's more so just for aesthetic purpose, as Maybe. it's just used for mood lighting. Okay, well, then she is going to skip around. Okay. And... Since you said the place has acoustics, she's going to sing <laughs> horribly oh. off-key. Okay, as Patience is skipping around the room, singing. 
Uh, I will say for this purposes, he is going to be gone for as long as a short rest. Oh, cool. So if you all want to <sighs> take your time to rest, uh, yes, I do. Gather your prayers. Or to use three. Uh, Tarsius, make sure to double check your spells. I need to, yeah. Four. That's eight. That's okay. That's what I'm going to die. Okay, I'm going to do another one. This. Just do one. Ten. Oh, I am exactly at max. Cool. Okay. As I will say, Jan would have taken to this corner. Cool. For the most part, just kind of I did wandering around. Five, but I don't know where my pencils are. So. All right. So what? Uh, what is everyone doing for the short rest? Uh, I'm probably gonna be asking about this thing. What it is okay. to the to the lizard folk and the Eonti. All right, the lizard folk. Uh, they don't really know much of what it is. They just say snake lady. Like it very crudely in common. Uh, whereas the Eonti, uh, if you ask, you. He will, uh, kind of like open his hands in a way as if to just like present, just like this is. Our. Great Mother, the Night Mother, Dendoth. She is what she is what you would call the devourer of nightmares. Cool. As you can see, she is all-encompassing, larger than all realm or any realm itself, as she is the one that is the eater of dreams. So if you have a bad dream, she'll eat it. She siphons off of our fear. That does not sound as great as what I first thought it was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. You're right. Well, that's cool. Um. So, what is your affiliation or alignment with the five headed dragon? It is what our mother wills. Does she want the dragon to come out? That is only for something for her to decide. For she sees many different possibilities, many different lifetimes. She is the source of this great temple. This, this mm. wasn't its power, I should say. Patient's just staring at the relief. And just looking over the auntie and dr draconic. Is it sacrilegious if I step on this to boot the snake's nose? Oh, you can go on my shoulders. You know, not step on it. It's actually considered good luck for initiates to oh. walk across, though. Oh, I'll, I'll walk across. <laughs> <laughs> Patience is literally gonna maybe do that, but she's gonna stop right here, boop the nose, and then keep going. Across. Oh my god. So, wait, who am I talking to? So I'm not in the middle of the room, I'll just roll a hit die. Oh, uh, this guy. The, the Yanti is the one answering your yeah. questions. So, she makes things happen in her will, right? I'm an initiate! <laughs> it's, it's through her will that we is that we are the ones that do her bidding hmm. we lay in wait for the great hiss as it is called oh it is the day when fear across all realms and planes reaches its peak and it will be glorious I'm gonna look towards uh, Jayon. And I'm gonna look towards the serpent. So, I'm assuming you'll get a lot of us around here elves and minotaurs and humans and kitty ladies and half dragons. 
Not precisely. The most we've seen around here are maybe a few elves, but mostly humans and dwarves. Wouldn't you rather than say that us coming here and speaking with you, asking so many questions, is a direct result of your god? I feel you're trying to put more words in than what they're, you know. I'm just using logic here. However you wish to see fit. So wouldn't it seem fit to say that she brought us here because we're going to do the outcome that she prescribed? <laughs> we're not trying to hurt anyone, but really not. We kind of avoid violence if we can. And I don't see any harm in what you're doing. We came here for a task. Very simple one. And if we leave, it sounds like this is what she wanted. Okay, she's gonna move over to crouch in front of the chest and then look back. What's in the box? <laughs> As the, the, the one, uh, lizard folk over here just kind of like looks to you she's like don't don't touch that no but why no but why no but why Zerian's just like she's gonna do that for a while you know she'll look from the lizard man over to the auntie but why <laughs> like she's just gonna do that it's not yours didn't your mother ever tell you to not touch what is not yours my mom's a dragon it's true. She's a half dragon I was talking about. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm trying to reach a peaceful accord in this beautiful dungeon that you've made for that. Your gang. peaceful accord would be for you to sit quietly until reinforcements arrive and I don't decide know how what to, to sit do. Quietly. <laughs> oh, you don't patience. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nails on the chest. <laughs> As the chest is locked, there is a lock on it, so oh, you can't dear. open it. All I'm saying is, we come here for what we want, and we're going to take it. You can say all you like, but until then, wait. Ah, you just hear her you just throw a bit and just flops. <laughs> Bored, <laughs> and that's gonna. I'm pretty certain gonna echo. It'll echo for sure. I'm going to stand right here in the middle between both of them. I can't actually do it because you know grid. Okay. I'm going to put my axe on the floor, lean on it. I'm just gonna do the thing that one guy at Renford does, and he's just leaning and staring. Yep. Yeah, all right. As you're staring ahead, and it's just a dark hallway of pitch black. And <coughs> Ophelia and Yuli, what are we doing? I just moved us to this little corner just kind of like okay. watching everybody. I felt like Fifi would like kind of like sit down crisscross and be like lean against the wall and be like, tell me when something happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Alistair, what are we up to? He is reading his uh, book of frat next to, uh, he's actually going to be, like, over here in this little corner just reading his book. Right, I'll put Ferris right there between you and Jayon. He'll read to Ferris. Aww. Cute. She'll, she'll sit there happily listening, just like her little tail just kind of like twitching back and forth. So like every now and then she'll like interject with like what her favorite part is and then like... Ooh, I like that verse. <laughs> Alright, and patience we know is being annoying over there. <laughs> You'll just hear her go mem and then <laughs> nap. <laughs> Napping? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll say for the sake of this, I need everyone in this room to make me a wisdom save. Oh boy! Is it magical? I'm asking for Cordelia. It is magical. Allie got an 18! Smart boy! <laughs> Oh no. Okay. What did I get? Oh, 
He has a plus zero to his wisdom, so I'm proud of him. Okay. This is gonna suck. What'd you get, Tarsius? I rolled a one, so three. Okay. What'd you get, Patience? Seven! Okay. Oh. Ophelia, Yuli, what did you get? Nineteen. Okay. Sixteen. Okay. Makes freaking sense. I'm asleep. I'm a wisdom cleric. Fair. Uh, what did Cordelia get? Uh, she got seventeen. Fifteen plus two. Okay. All right. Don't know how to say this, but you all failed. Oh shit! This is very powerful magic. Oh shit! As you are all kind of like sitting there in your own moments, just. Tarsius, you waiting. Uh, Alistair, you're reading. Uh, Ophelia, just kind of bored as you're just at now counting the stones on the ceiling, trying to make like face patterns out of them. Patience, you're starting to doze off as this cold, dark hiss just kind of like goes through each of your minds. I, I told, I said we should plug, plug in our ears. What? It's your greatest fear. And you are know. all compelled to answer. I don't know. What? Uh, so you're all compelled to answer what your greatest fear is. I think I rolled the lowest. You did. All right. So Tarsus is immediately going to just say, um, in like a whimper, for people to see me as who I truly am. Alistair. Oh, heck. His greatest fear. Um, something happening to his best bro. Okay. Is that what it is? Not... Okay. They don't know each other here. <laughs> I know. Can it be? He's, refer he's, re he's referring to Jayon. Jayon's his best bro here. Y yeah, Jayon can be us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jayon's his own person. <laughs> All right, uh, Cordelia will answer on another day because that's for Jeremiah to answer. Yeah, I have no idea. Yuli. Yuli's just gonna stare up thinking and just be like, my failure. Aw. Ophelia. Not being able to help someone I care about. My friends. Oh. Patience. I'm trying to think of how to answer this one, honestly. How are you supposed to... How, what, what are you trying, trying to think? Cause... I'm gonna send you a DM. Send me a DM? Okay. He's right there. Just whisper to him. I know. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Oh, man. Mm. And everyone's hearing this, right? Yeah, you're all speaking this out loud. Oh, cool. So cool. Did, did Jan and Arian have to do this too? And Ferris? They... Yes, they did. As I will answer for them in a minute. I'm trying to think how to answer that. Because, uh... honestly... That's some deep digging you gotta do. Yes. As, uh, for Jayon, you'll just hear, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, if you want. I don't, I don't. Yeah, use don't that one. Know. Use that one. That's technically true. Yeah, she'll just pretty much mention just the really big, mean red dragon. As Ferris just kind of, like, you see her tail just kind of, like, puff up. She just kind of, like, shrinks down. Just, I'm afraid I'm not strong enough to help. Uh, for Jayon, 
as you hear him just say to not be enough. <laughs> And for Irian. Oh boy. Oof. To lose what I feel I cannot protect. As you all have that, and I will say, Tarsius, since you rolled a one. Yeah. You feel the ground beneath your feet just kind of rumble with like these heavy footsteps just do, 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 with something is moving towards you out of the darkness this huge hulking figure oh, as you see its head scraping the top of the ceiling dragging this heavy wicked weapon in its in its claws as it charges for you and you see what looks to be this massive black furred minotaur as it grabs you in this huge hand it's ar- it, like its fingers wrapping around your torso picking you up and slamming you into the ground as you just hear this voice in your head it's just you have the strength why do you squander it? You have the power. Rip their fucking heads off. If you want to move forward, move forward. Mm-hmm. As you just feel this heaviness in your chest, just like a scream that's building that you want to just let out. And then you wake up, and it's like, it never happened. So you're still standing there, just... Resting on your, on your axe, but your heart is just hammering in your chest. Uh, after he sees that, he's going to turn to his sister with a tear falling, and just in a minotaur. I'm sorry. As you turn to say that you're sorry to her, you see from the corner, like just behind her, you see as a snake pushes its way out from between the bricks of the wall. And then another one. And then another. As they all kind of start crawling out of the walls. Oh. Slithering down. And up... (laughs) Tarsius points. So you see just like this wave of snakes just pouring from the walls as they kind of twist together into swarms and you see them separate and and just slither their way into the suits of armor as the suits themselves just rattle and then they step forward kind of clunkily drawing their weapons. Guess what we're and that's where we're gonna end for tonight. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, man. As we journey deeper into the tomb of Dedarius, now turned temple to Dendar, you're gonna kind of witness your worst nightmares, guys. So. This video will be edited. It'll be put on YouTube at a later date. Um, see you guys in two weeks. Next, uh, this coming Monday is going to be reroll. My dad, Dickie, is going to be in the initiative chair. Look for that. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Be kind to one another. Uh, stay safe. And love you. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.